Be the creator, not the consumer. This is Angus. Uh, in our last video, we talked about the manufacturing cities in Zhejiang province. I'm not sure if you make yourself clear of there. Uh, and I think that is not the best way to introduce you, uh, you guys, those manufacturing cities. But so far, I do not have uh, any other better options. So that's why I'm seeking your opinion here. If you have better opinion, please comment down below so I can improve it. Uh, and today, uh, I still will use this way to introduce you guys uh, the manufacturing cities in Guangdong province. The first city we're going to introduce is Guangzhou city. Guangzhou, it is the capital city of Guangdong province. And Guangzhou, it is also the uh, third largest uh, Chinese city and the largest city in South Central China. And it is the most comprehensive industry manufac uh, manufacturer in South China. And if you have already visited Guangzhou, you will know that uh, there are a lot of districts. The first one uh, we want to mention here is Baiyun District. You can find apparels, accessories, watches, clocks, equipment for advertisement and the exhibition over there. And in Yueshu District, you can find household articles such as cushions, wall clock, and small decoration items in Yueshu district. And in Panyu district, you can find facilities for playground, for some jewelry, and ha uh, hair accessories. I got a customer, uh, he had a hypermarket, and he bought a lot of, um, you know, the facilities for the playground for kids, okay, from Panyu district. And we helped them to arrange the container from Guangzhou. And Huadu district, you can find uh, it is uh, very famous for nether products. Uh, there are large nether material located in Shining, a small town in Huadu, which is called China's capital for leather. Okay, and Zhengcheng district, you can find jeans wear, especially jeans for men, for women, for kids. Okay, Zhengcheng district, Zhengcheng district. You can also learn Chinese from this video. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is about Guangzhou and normally uh, as we know that it is very famous for uh, shoes, apparels, clothing, for leather bags, for watches, those kind of items, okay? And the second one, it will be Shenzhen, Shenzhen city. So uh, Shenzhen, as we mentioned, we also mentioned in the video, we talked about the top 10 coastal ports, Shenzhen, it is also one of the largest ports in China and it is near to Hong Kong um, and it is the China's capital of electronic products as we mentioned before and in Nohu district you can find silver jewelry jewelry and for women's clothing and also uh, as not, not, uh, in our last video we mentioned about the Nimbo port uh, it gathered a lot of shipping for waters and um, Trading complex, the same thing here in Shenzhen. A lot of shipping for orders there in Shenzhen. And when we, uh, I also want to mention that when we were to uh, express or courier, you know, a lot of packages were sent. Actually, it was sent from Shenzhen. It was sent from Shenzhen, okay? Uh, they will transfer the shipment from Shenzhen. Uh, in Futian district, you can find mobile accessories, uh, mobile spare parts, and digital accessories. In Baoan district, Baoan district, you can find mobile phones, spare parts, digital products, LED products, equipment for manufacturing electronic products, uh, and a power source. In Nansha, uh, Nanshan, Nanshan district, Nanshan district, uh, the advantage products are women's clothing and daily used articles. Okay, the third city is Dongguan city. Uh, Dongguan. It is mainly manufacturing of electronic parts and the components. Um, and it is also very famous for plastic materials. Uh, it will be in Zhang Mutou, Zhang Mutou, Changping, and uh, Huangjiang. And there is a town located in Dongguan named Human. It is known as China's town of women's apparel. So if you're buying women's apparel, you can go to Human as well. Uh, and in another another town named Chang'an, Chang'an town, uh, mold is an advantage product of Dongguan as well. 
and many products are machinery hardware modes such as auto or auto spar spare parts modes as we mentioned in the last video in Zhejiang province there is also a city uh, it's very famous for mode is Huangyan city okay it's Huangyan city uh, it's in Taizhou it's in Taizhou okay uh, if you did not remember you can go back to watch it again to get familiar with those city names okay and the other city is Zhongshan city Zhongshan is famous for one industry in one town it means that in every town of Zhongshan they have one uh, they have their own industry okay uh, for example in Gujian uh, it is the Chinese light lighting capital you can find LED lighting indoor lighting in Gujian in Gujian uh, a lot of customers they can sell me where they can buy LED lighting uh, at last they go to Gujian uh, Gujian okay Gujian town and you can also find mogani furniture mogani is a kind of wood uh, hard hard wood uh, furniture from da chung tang and sha xi tang okay and in dong feng dong feng tang dong feng tang in chinese dong feng zhen dong feng zhen uh, you can find electronic household appliances uh, also in our last video we mentioned in ningbo cixi you can find home appliances uh, in cixi okay uh, and in Xiaolan Tang, Xiaolan Tang, you can find locks and hardware as well as electronic uh, acoustics products. Uh, also in Shashi Tang, there is another product, it's Carolware. You can find Carolware in Shashi Tang as well. The next city, it will be Foshan. Foshan, it is also very famous for, uh, for furniture, for, uh, for the bathroom, for the kitchen. Uh, for example, in Changchun district, you can find it is the largest fashion uh, case garments manufacturing base. And in Shunde district, it is very famous for furniture, small electronic appliances. Uh, comparing with Cixi in Ningbo, Shunde usually are with higher quality and technology of small electronic appliances. And in Shiwan, in Shiwan town, Shiwan. It is the largest and most important manufacturing base of ceramics. Ceramics, okay. And the last one, it will be Shanto. Main products manufacturing in Shanto are sweaters, knitted underwear, toys, uh, loungewear, plastic material, and packing printing equipment. And the most famous one, it will actually be toys in Qinghai. Qinghai, a place gathered with toys factories and trading companies. Many are remote, uh, controlled toys, stuffed toys, education toys. Um, I've been there once. Uh, there is a, a very huge, it's more like a showroom. A lot of uh, factories or trading companies, uh, you know, they will show their, display their products in the showroom and it is managed by one company, okay? Uh, when you visit there, you can find all kinds of uh, toys over there and you can also, they will offer you food, everything. Uh, they, they will offer you sample, you can buy the sample from the showroom directly. So uh, this, is, this will be very interesting if you are buying toys from Qinghai city, okay? And Chaolan, Chaolan city and Chaoyang district. Chaoyang district, uh, Chaolan and Chaoyang district. You can find knitted underwear and loungewear, especially for underwear. Thousands of factories offer various of distinctive products there. So if you uh, you are dealing this kind of products, uh, Chaoyang and Chaoyang district will be your best choice. Next one, it will be Jiayang. Uh, Jiayang, it will be very famous for stainless steel products. A lot of kittenwear, it was manufactured in Jiayang city. Um, it is called the Chinese manufacturer base of hardware. Uh, the the other one, the the Chinese capital of hardware, as we mentioned in the last video, I'm not sure if you remember. It is Yongkang City. Okay, so we mentioned or we already mentioned two uh, hardware cities. One is Yongkang, the other one is Jiayang. The factories are mainly located in Rongcheng District and. Uh, Dongshan district and uh, Jiedong district, Jiedong town. Uh, major products in, 
includes kitchen uh, kitchen fittings, cooking utensils, and tableware, knock set, uh, a lot of products, and the quality of the products are very high in Jiang City. Okay. And the next one, it will be Yangjiang. Yangjiang, it is very famous for the life's hardware tools, hand tools, scissors, and women's apparel. Those years, uh, recent years, a lot of uh, ceramic knives and the other kind of stainless steel knives are very famous uh, and, uh, you know, exported from Yangjiang city. Even in, in Yiwu city, you know, in last time we mentioned uh, the, the wholesale marketing in Yiwu, they got a lot of uh, factories they display or they distribute their products in Yiwu city from Yangjiang, okay? And the last one, the last one, it will be Chaozhou city. Chaozhou has over um, 1300 years of cer ceramic production history. In China, it is the uh, China's largest arts and crafts porcelain household Personal and sanitary wear product production base. Also, China's largest technology personal and daily use personal expert base, the world's most complete range of ceramics, the largest output ceramic uh, production base. Chaozhou has more than 10,000 ceramic manufacturers. So, if you're uh, looking for ceramics, Chaozhou, it will be your best choice. Okay, so those will be the manufacturing cities in Guangdong province. Once again, uh, I know this is not the best way to introduce you guys those manufacturing cities. Uh, definitely, I will find a better way to improve, um, you know, to, to make you more clear about those cities. Okay, so give me some time, bear with that. Uh, but still, if you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you have different opinion, please comment down below. And if you want to let me uh, help you source, source the products, just go to the video description and find my social links and connect me with there. Leave me a message over there. I will reply you as soon as I can. Okay, once more, this is Angus. Like, share, and follow. Do what you want to do. Spread the words. Thanks.